Hey everyone, it's Raj with 3CB. The Lambrace pitcher Charlie Morton took this line drive at 102 miles per hour off the bat to his lower right leg during the second inning of the Braves Houston Astros opener of the World Series. Anytime you get hit like this, it's certainly going to cause some soreness and discomfort at the ankle, especially when you're loading. And right here, we're watching Morton's final pitch. And then also, as you come over that left leg, that ankle is now rotating to so that lower part of the leg, the fibula and the lateral malleolus helps stabilize against that rotation as well. Morton was removed from the game after this pitch and afterwards we found out that he has a fibular fracture and will miss the rest of the season. Firstly, a massive credit to Charlie Morton playing through the pain and discomfort of that fracture. As Ken Rosenthal reported, he was experiencing significant soreness in that area. Secondly, how did he play through a fracture in his leg, or as many have said, a quote, broken leg? Firstly, we don't know the type of fracture he had, as there's a massive spectrum of severity when it comes to these fractures. In this case, it's very likely towards the lower end. And then secondly, the fibula in general only takes approximately 15 to 20% of our body weight when loaded during movement, which limits the amount of pain through that region. Long term, they shouldn't have any issues, but full credit to Charlie Morton, you know, for staying in there, pitching 10 more pitches, sitting down for a half inning, and then coming out for six more pitches, and in the meantime, getting three guys out while pitching through that fractured fibula.